Next, let's turn our attention to the three example applications found in the original 1970s ARP 2500 owner's manual. The first sample application we're going to look at is the single output eight input mixer. And this is the first example for the 1050 mix sequencer from the original ARP 2500 manual. And again, that manual is available in PDF format at guitarfool.com. Check the description for a link to it. Our inputs are all coming from the three oscillators of the 2600, and we're just taking individual waveforms from the three oscillators to make up the eight inputs. Let's take a closer look at the configurations of the 1050 mix sequencer. We've set the inputs as appropriate, the outputs as appropriate, and you can use either output A or output B in this configuration. That configuration is this uh, counter mixer switch in the far right position, which will make the counter be an 8 to 1 counter and the mixer be an 8 to 1 mixer. The external gate is disabled. The pulse gen is off. And because we've got this counter on to position 5, we've got one channel enabled. If we turned on the pulse, it would begin to progress through the sequence and then finally come back to step one. And that's the configuration. So let's listen real briefly to the sequence which we've heard previously. And we can enable all the channels we want to. Since the counter is on, the exclusive on doesn't cut off the counter channel. We can move the counter channel manually, and we can cut on additional channels Finally, we can use the 1027 gates to step through the sequence. And this is all while we have this five step sequence from the counter. And if we want a particular channel to be on all the time, we can manually enable them or do a, an exclusive select. In this case, we've got three channels enabled because one is from the exclusive select, one is from the external gate, and one is from the counter. If we cut off the counter, one will go away. If we cut off the external gate, one will go away. In which case, our exclusive on only enables one, and we can cut that one off at will. So that's the basic setup and the different ways we can manipulate it. That's example one. Next we have the second example from the ARP 2500 manual. This configures the 1050 as two separate four channel mixers. And let's look at the inputs on the gold mixer we have several control waveforms, including LFO, another clock over here, the ADSR, and the AR envelopes. Depending on which of these four you select, it's going to get one of these control signals. The output, A, is routed into the envelope control for the VCA. So that's the gold mixer. The green mixer has three 
waveforms plus the output of the ring modulator. Now let's go over the configuration. We've set these levels as appropriate and the output levels as well. We've got the counter set to 8, but since it's configured as two separate mixtures, it's going to go 1 through 4 and then loop back around. Uh, we've got no pulse gen. The, uh, the internal clock is off. Most importantly, we have the counter mixer configuration all the way left, which means that both the counter and the mixer are set up as four into two. So it'll count to four and then loop back around and the mixers are set up as two separate mixers with separate outputs that are four input mixers. Now let's take a listen. What we're going to do is cut off the counter and cut on one of the signals and we've got the ADSR here and one of the oscillators so let's listen. Change envelopes. That's the LFO. Now, let's turn the counter back on, turn off the automatic, and check that, yep. And now we're going to advance the uh, counter position from gate one. So let's just take, uh, reset that, and hit gate one, and it stepped. Let's listen to that. Obviously, the first thing about this example is that we've got two separate mixers, each with its own output. The other thing that this example points out is that not only can you mix audio, you can mix control signals, including keyboard control voltages with good accuracy. And that's example two from the ARP 2500 original manual. The third and final example from the ARP 2500 original manual is using the 1050 mix sequencer as a sequential switch for the CV outputs from the 1027 sequencer. In addition to that, we're going to be using the second half, the second mixer, not to mix control voltages, but to mix a reset signal so that rather than playing eight steps, eight steps, eight steps, we're going to play eight steps, eight steps, four steps, and then reset. So let, let's look at that configuration in detail. We've got the three control voltage outputs going into inputs one, two, and three on the mix sequencer. We've got the gate one output going to the external advance so that it will play 
eight notes and then it will reset and play eight notes again but when it resets it's also going to advance and let's just see that real fast okay so it it also not only does it change CV columns with mixer one, it will also advance to the next input so that we play the three CV outputs A, B, and C in sequence, a sequential switch. The second mixer is doing nothing until it gets to the third position and then it's taking the gate 5 out, routing it in, and then routing it back to the reset so that when it gets to the third column, it's only going to play 1, 2, 3, 4, and then when it hits 5, it's going to immediately jump back to 1, which will also bring us back here because we've got the counter on three steps. External gates are disabled. We've got no pulse gen. That's off. So let's just watch that. It's going to play 8, 8, and 4 is 20 steps. It's going to play a 20-step sequence. And all of this is coming out of the 2600 voice from a single oscillator. Not terribly musical, but it does demonstrate the point that you're not limited to eight steps. You can play as many as 24 steps in a row. And when you do that, if you want to play less than the full 24, you can use these gate outs in combination with a sequentially switched mixer to reset early. That's example number three. That concludes our full panel control demo in addition to the three examples out of the original ARP 2500 owner's manual. Thanks for watching.